Anyway, I just got back from the shops because I feel like I felt really down and sad. I don't know why. Maybe it's loneliness, but I don't feel lonely, but maybe my my body does. I don't know, but so I went out to do some little um, retail therapy. Um, just there for like certain things. This one, okay, the, mum, if you're watching, stop watching because I have Mother's Day present. Um, this was from last time, not this time, but at Kohl's I saw this and picked that one up and then this time I was at Kmart and found mum jokes and I thought that would be the perfect Mother's Day present for her so that's my Mother's Day present done. I still need to get something for my nanas, which I think I'll just be getting roses because I don't know what they want but I think that's good. So yeah, this is like mum jokes, like dad jokes but it's mum one so and it's just it's just little things like that. What do you call a bee that can not make up its mind? A maybe. <laughs> so yeah, just little jokes like that. <laughs> um, from Kmart again, I picked up a large um, t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt because I'm trying to get into that curly hair girl routine because I realized that my ringlets like over time are just getting more frizzy so I want to try to I don't know what the word is refine like put my ringlets or curls so yeah and I came across this video um that says um like a little bit of a girly hair routine or curly girl hair routine and she said that um, to use like products that don't have like silicone, alcohol or sulfate in it and I was, so that's where I went to the shops mainly for was like this and the products I'll show you <laughs> but they said to use this at the end when you wash your hair and put like yeah they put this around their hair after they wash it and put um, like cream or gel in it and it's supposed to make it like you hold your whole your but anyway, here's the shampoo or conditioner and shampoo I'm going to use. It's just um, heavenly hydrating like cherry blossom. Like, because there was coconut one, but I wanted the cherry blossom one because it's pink. <laughs> and in my bathroom, I kind of want a pink theme. So I got shampoo and conditioner. And on the video, she said, us, ah, sulfate free. <laughs> I didn't even see that when I was in the shop spending hours trying to look for what, what shampoo and conditioner I should have. But yeah, um, so yeah, because on the video, she said avoid silicone, sulfate, and alcohol. It was hard to avoid alcohol. Everything had alcohol, so I had to like leave that one in. But like the other two, these don't have. So... I am really excited to try this. I didn't even see the salt break free like big um, word there. <laughs> I was spending <coughs> hours in Kmart and um, was it Coles trying to like reading the ingredients. <laughs> but I finally picked up these two from Coles. They were a bit expensive than like my other shampoo but if they work then they're worth it. And then for the cream or gel I got this um, hair foods. The watermelon one. My dad uses this all the time for his mustache, but I never like thought to like use it until on the video she said to put a cream or gel when you're doing like the thing with the t-shirt and leave it in. So I thought this one and this one's a watermelon one. They have all like banana and that, but I just smelt this one. I think the watermelon one would go well with the strawberries as well as kind of has a bit of pink. Well, it's more red, but I think it would go well better with the strawberry scent. So this is my first step to my Kelly Gale, Gale routine and hopefully I do see a difference and hopefully or at least just makes my hair like smell better, less frizzy. But anyway, I was gonna go there to find also a uh, silk or satin um, pillowcase because that apparently that helps with frizziness as well as a sleeping cap because again I think that also helps with frizziness as well as I want to see a difference on my face too because I heard that like silk is better for your face too so in I didn't find any of them I looked everywhere there but didn't find anywhere so in the future I'll get like a satin or silk pillowcase and a hair bonnet to further do my Kelly Girl hair routine. So we're gonna try this tonight. 
Okay, so I'm doing a little voiceover. You know how I mentioned that that I was meant to clean my house a couple weeks ago. I was going to do a deep clean. Well, I never got to that because I just was overwhelmed. I looked at all the rooms and just overwhelmed because my original plan was to do the whole house at once, which I realized that it's not really possible. Well, it's possible, but it's just too much for me. Like I'd be too much like what's the word overstimulated I don't know what the word is or overwhelmed I think that's the word overwhelmed so I for I picked I think three rooms the kitchen the dining and the toilet and bathroom so four rooms just so I wasn't like too much stressing myself out so I said to do surfaces and mop floor and that's what I did is the surfaces and mop floor because doing the other thing would just be way too much for me as well, I had a subscriber mentioned about my um, upload schedule, which I never really thought of it till then because like, I don't really have an upload um, schedule. So I was wondering if you all want me to start doing an upload schedule. I'm wondering if you want me to start doing like either maybe a day or maybe like a time. I'm not sure about the time, but I might be able to do a day, which means there will be probably would be a Saturday and a Monday since weekly vlogs normally finish on the I think Friday why right? weekend vlogs will finish on the Sunday so it means if it's a weekly vlog it'll probably be uploaded on Saturday and if it's a weekend vlog it'll be uploaded maybe on Monday so if you want me to start doing that uploading Saturday and Monday um, I think it'll be like one week a Monday next week Saturday and so on like that so let me know if you want me to start doing that I'm not sure again with my time because with editing sometimes it takes a little longer as well as the uploading might be a little longer as well as like if there's in inconvenience that might come across so I can't promise a certain time but if you want me to start doing a certain day I can try my best to do a certain day I can't promise it will always be like that, but I can try my best to do that. Let me know if you want me to do that. And yeah, so yeah, and enjoy the rest of the vlog. <laughs> I didn't film anything yesterday, but I had a good day yesterday. I don't know if I already mentioned or not, but last week, even though I had a really good weekend last week, I felt down all last week to Monday to Friday. I felt so sad. Um, I wasn't sure really why. I think like maybe because like I felt well I didn't feel lonely but I think my mind and body felt lonely if that made sense. Even though I had a good weekend but all that week I just felt really down. So and I texted my mum on um, Saturday if I could call her on Sunday. Um, but she actually um, decided that if I wanted to go with them to look at a nursery so I did which was so much better than a phone call and I had a really good day like looking at the flowers and plants just made me really happy and seeing my parents and sister again also made me happy so yeah thank you so much mum I she, she said that I think she sensed that I was feeling down when I when I sent her that message so instead of just a phone call she asked if I wanted to go with them to look at a nursery so I did it was a really nice nursery everything was very expensive though so I didn't get anything but it had some really good things and then we looked at Bunnings and there was this pergola thing that I think would be very perfect out the back because I want a pergola out the back so I may get that or something very similar in the future. Also today is Monday and yes I have work today uh, but I called up um, a cabinet making place or like a wardrobe making place. They do kitchens, cabinets, wardrobes, robes and all that. So I called them up since that's where my parents got their wardrobes done. So I called them up to get a free quote and measurements and they're coming on Wednesday, Wednesday 11 o'clock, which is perfect because I don't have work um, on Wednesday. So it'd be perfect and they can take as much time as they want. I already put um, 
I don't know if I showed you, but I already put white um, tape. The painter's tape I use for the painting, I put down on the carpet to know, to give them an idea of what actually, what, give me and them an idea of what, how big I want them to be. Here, I'll show you. So I already measured out how wide and how long I want. And I haven't measured out um, how high, but I'm thinking, see that vent there? Just under that vent. I'm pretty sure I already mentioned this, but just under that vent. And my plan is I'm hoping they'll be able to do it because I want a custom. I think my design's very easy. It's just like a rectangle. And one side I want hanging. And the other side I want like kind of like them, like cubicles like them, but a bit more compact with like a drawer. And I'm not sure if they'll give me room in the middle that they can do whatever they want. I don't really care, like maybe drawers or that, but my originally plan is to have two sections. One section for hanging, one section for like folding and drawers. But they might decide that I can actually have like the middle have like an extra part. So if I do, it would probably be maybe bigger shelves or more drawers. But I know I definitely want hanging and shelves, cubicle shelves. There's actually a video, a photo on their website that's very similar of the shelf bit I want, so I'll be using that for reference. So I'm hoping they'll be able to build it in this area, right here, because this is where I want it. See, perfect, the door still opens wide, it doesn't like, it's not too close. It may look closer on camera, but like you still like, See, the door opens really wide, so yeah. And my mum suggests putting a mirror there to make it look bigger. So I'll be doing that. <laughs> the mirror won't be what they do. I'll be that, doing that in the future. And I want sliding doors to match this door. And possibly the colour too, if they can. But yeah, that's pretty much all. I'm just a little worried that they might suggest something with that. They might suggest that I have to be a little bit different because of that. But I don't have Foxtel or anything. And if they do something different, it probably mean I'll have to do it opposite. It probably mean I have to do the hanging that side and the shelves that side. But it's alright. I would prefer the hanging that side. But if they can't, then the hanging that side and the shelves that side. Um, it's just... I don't know, they might suggest, just in case in the future I end up do getting foxtail, they might suggest putting a shelf here and then like the QE shelves here and then the hanging there. But we'll have to see on the day. I'm hoping that doesn't mess up too much of my plan because I really want hanging either this side or that side and cubicle shelves. So I hope it doesn't mess up too much of it. Um, they might actually do um, cubicle shelves here and down there and then the middle be cut out. I wouldn't mind that. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I've been up to today. Just making my food, which is just pasta and veg. Trying to use up the rest of my food before I go food shopping. I am running low, but I want to use up pretty much most of my food before I shop because I don't want to have like already stuff in there and then it gets pushed to the side so yeah so happy Monday and I don't know if I'm gonna film anything else today if I don't see you Tuesday and if I don't film Tuesday then I will film Wednesday because I will give you an update on how the quote and measurements went okay it's 11 o'clock and I just came back from work since a public holiday so it's still Tuesday and you know how I said, sorry I'm whispering because it's night time and I'm not sure if my neighbours are asleep and these walls are really thin. But um, you know how I said um, last week I felt all down? I told myself that this week's going to be a better week. But then on when, uh, Monday I had pretty sure there was two person, a person gossiping about me in front of me in their own language. The only reason I think... Um, they were gossiping about me is because I've done sign language for a year and a quarter and I can pick up a little bit of like when people are speaking different language but they still use a lot of hand signals I can kind of pick it up so I think they were actually gossiping about me right in front of me which ouch 
so that made me feel a little bit down then today <laughs> a girl was kind of getting mad at me because I was accidentally taking the little ones out I thought I was doing fine because I thought I was taking all the bad ones out but apparently I was taking all the little ones out but sometimes my mind just you know because we're doing the same same thing we just I don't think so yeah and then she got mad and I got mad at her because I thought I was doing the right thing because maybe I wasn't I don't know which made me sad as well as another thing happened today is one of my friends something sad happened to her so she was talking about it and she was trying not to cry and I could see it and I was gonna cry and yeah I was hoping this week was gonna be more better but I don't know what's wrong with me. All last week I felt really down and sad. Now I still feel sad and was going to cry. I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know what's happening. I mean, I do know one thing. Is that um, I haven't got my period this month. Which is not normal for me. Normally I always have my period. So that's kind of freaking me out. Because one of my biggest fears is getting pregnant. And no, I'm not sexually active or anything like that so there's no way I could be so like there's no way I can be pregnant because I can't but it still like freaks me out because my mind thinks of that so I really hope I get my period next month my mom says that it's cause of stress hopefully it's just cause of stress nothing bad if I don't get it again next month then I have to see a doctor and I'm not pregnant oh my god that would be scary like no, yeah, that's one of my worst fears and I'm not sexually active and there's no way I can be so I don't know what's going on. I don't know, I feel very out of touch with my emotions, like I feel like, like I don't know what I feel, like I know I'm sad but I don't know why and I know I'm down but I don't know why. I know one of the things is because I don't have my period this week that is a bit freaking me out and making me sad but like like I know there's more to it it's not just that so I don't know if I'm experiencing like loneliness or something or maybe I'm having some kind of anxiety type I don't know I'm like I don't know what's wrong with me I mean the main thing that is freaking me out is that I haven't got my period this month which that's making me freak out but I know there's other things because I'm feeling really down and sad and I mean last month my period did last a bit longer which is a bit un unusual so yeah maybe because I'm as well as maybe because I'm living alone too so no one to sync up to as well as Maybe I am experiencing loneliness, but it's so weird because I don't know what I feel. Well, I know what I feel, but I don't know like the reason. Because sometimes there's reasons why I'm sad, but yeah, I don't know. I'm really out of touch with my emotions, as well as I'm really a sensitive person. So well, I envy the people who can fight conflict and not shred a tear. If I for example, if someone would blame me on something really small, let's say someone moved the cookie out the cookie jar and blamed me, I would burst into tears and I hate being like that, but I am like that and oh, it's, I don't know why I'm feeling like this. I was hoping this week was going to be so much better than last week, but I don't know. Maybe I catch some kind of weird virus, sadness virus from the zoo. I don't know. I don't know why I feel this way and it's, it's, it's annoying me and upsetting me even though I'm already upset. So yeah, I just wanted to talk emotions. I hope tomorrow is tomorrow I have the day off so it will be better. Also I notice a lot of times it's at work I feel sad because my work is production and basically we do the same thing over and over and over again so we're all in our mind while at home I can do things do different things I can go on YouTube I can plan some things but at work same thing same thing same thing over and you're always in your head and also it's very loud so it's hard to talk to people because sometimes when you're talking to people you can't hear them so yeah so maybe, I don't know, it's every time I go to work because you're in 
your mind most of the time so I don't know maybe I need a break from work but I don't know that could be not the reason or maybe I don't know what's going on I just I have no idea what uh, like what like I don't have any answers to it to this so but anyway tomorrow will be a better day and hopefully the rest of this week will be a better day I'll see you tomorrow okay sorry if you can hear the wind it's very windy today um but um the time is what's the time 12 almost one o'clock and the guy came today around like 10 10 30. it was actually very quick he measured it i i put you know how i put the thing and he measured around it he said that i want it originally not all the way to the roof but he said that would cost more so then i put it all the way to the roof so i'm hoping it'll still look good um he said that having matching doors will also cost a bit more but i said i want that because i want the doors to match my door so yeah <laughs> So he put that, so then he, um, it was good at the start, but then it got a bit awkward because we were both quiet, but then he measured through, um, so he measured the room or where it's going and then he ripped down like a design. It is a bit different. Okay, so here's the measurements. Um, it's not exactly how I want, but he knew exactly what he was doing. Um, he said did I want like a longer bit for longer dresses I wasn't really sure what he meant until he root um draw this down I was like oh okay because originally I didn't know if I was going to be able to fit three sections or two sections but I ended up threading three sections so I thought there was just going to be one section for hanging that was section for drawers but no he, there's two sections for like um shelves shelves and like drawers I'm not sure what that part is there maybe another shelf I don't know but the hanging will be in the middle instead of on the side which I think that'll look good but yeah he still has drawers that I want um, he put like um, adjustable shelves here so that if I want to adjust them I can which later on I think I will be doing the cubicle design because I don't think he approved really much on the cubicle design so I think that's why he done adjustable so that if I want in the future I can just cut out like wood pieces and make them cubicles so I think I will be doing that like a little DIY project on what I will be doing because I do kind of like the cubicle design that I have I think it's really cool so that's what I will be doing but for now this is what he approved on so I have adjustable shelves drawers adjustable shelves shelves I'm not sure what that bit was I forgot and then hanging and was longer section hanging um, so yeah, that's pretty much all oh, and it's on it's gonna be in June Wednesday the 7th of June So it's not until like two months time, but it gave me enough time to save up Actually, it was in my budget range. It was a little cheaper than it's a, a lot cheaper than what I Thought it was going to be but so it means it's in my budget range, which means perfect so I'm really excited once it's going to happen right now it's just the waiting because it's they're very busy at the moment so right now it's just the waiting so yeah that's pretty much all I did today so I did um, call up my mum afterwards and we chatted for like a couple hours on the phone which was good just telling her about the wardrobe and just things I want to do around the house and yeah and I have the day off, so I was going to pick out more of the three corner jets, which I have. I'm putting them in this Henry Jets bag now because they're filled up with the other thing. Um, but it just got really windy, like too windy, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. So yeah, I think I'm just going to edit some of this vlog, get my laptop out, and probably continue some of that. I don't really feel like doing much today, so that's pretty much what I will be doing today. So, yeah.
vlog, this vlog, and also lay it outside in the sun for like 30, like half an hour or to an hour. And I think that made me feel a lot more better. I feel more like I think I needed the sun and needed to, what's it called, ground, where you like put your feet on the ground and touch the grass. Like, I think it made me feel a bit like better, like get that vitamin C or vitamin D. And yeah, I think it has made me feel a little bit better because I realized that I haven't been outside a lot. Normally, I'm inside. Um, because it, at my parents' house we have a big backyard so it's easier to go down there and feel like you're not in a backyard. Why my backyard um, is not, I haven't done anything to it yet so it kind of just feels like a backyard if that makes sense. But it still has nice grass that I need to desperately mow because it's gone huge. But yeah, I felt much better after that. So yeah, and I planned a little bit of what I want. I want to put, I definitely want to put orange, mandarin and apple tree in. And I want like a veggie garden and of course keep a, a lot of that grass too. And the pergola when I get it eventually. Um, I'm thinking on Saturday maybe, or oh, this will be for the weekend vlog. Um, maybe get um, like a blender. Also, I think I might save up a bit more money and get like the skincare thing I want because a lot of YouTubers have been talking about it and it's like Asian and I heard that Asian skincare is just so much better because they are more into skincare I guess. Like I heard Korean skincare is really really good and this one's a Japanese one so I really want to try it and if I see a result I'll keep with that one because I don't want I don't want too much product towards the skincare. Oh, that's what I originally was going to update you about. My hair. Um now I've been trying that I only tried it once, that curly girl hair routine as you saw at the start of this vlog. Um I don't know if I haven't brushed my hair. I just got out of the shower but didn't get my hair wet. Um I think it is help holding my curls, but like it's messy, <laughs> like my hair is messy. Um, so I'm not sure how, I don't know if it's working or not. I, I think I'll do it again um, this weekend, but yeah. I mean even without a product my hair is pretty much like this if I just don't do anything with it. If I brush it then it won't be as messy, but the curls won't hold them. They hold, but it would go more wavy. Um, so yeah, I, that's all basically really what I wanted to update you about. So yeah, I was, but anyway, so I decided that the cupboard is, um, well, is going to happen. The first pit's done, the quote and measurement's done, and it's in my budget, which is good. I just have to wait a whole month for it because it's, because um, May is next month, but it's in June, so I have to wait a whole month for it, but that's alright. Um, I know the first step's done, which is the first step I have been putting off for a long time because I've been nervous, but it was really good, and I'm happy, and I can't wait when the cupboard is actually done, and then I can actually move my stuff in there and start organizing probably more around the house because once the cupboard's done well, i don't need the weight anymore but i can put floating shelves up here that i want to do and yeah and then my room is nearly complete i mean it still have more decorating to do that's why it's not really i haven't done anything yet with it because of the cupboard we need to wait for that first Sorry if dark. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday which means Friday is tomorrow which means it's almost the weekend. Oh well, you want to come up? So yesterday as you know the um, person came over and measured my cupboard. I also clipped Toby's nails. Today I filmed a video. Actually I filmed my body hair update video which has been very highly requested so look out for that they'll be coming very soon so yeah i was very happy after filming that but now when i go to work i don't know if i'm going to be happy since these two weeks have been 
a little inner heart work. I've been feeling very emotional and down. A girl actually invited me to go out to a Vietnamese, no sorry, Thai restaurant and I wasn't sure at first but I'm gonna say yes because I need to get out and socialize. I'm not sure when, I think she said May the 20th or something. So I have to um, ask her again. It's on a Saturday, I know. So I have to ask her again. So thank you so much, Lisa. Because um, she's the girl who invited me out. She's from work. She's a workmate. I don't really work with her, but she's one of those people with that like bubbly, nice personality that she can talk to anyone and those are the people I like. So yeah, I'm going to go up to her today and accept her offer. <laughs> So yeah, I'm probably not going to film anything else today since all this morning, all the morning, I was doing the um, other video that will be up soon. So yeah, yeah, so yeah, <laughs> I don't know, I don't have anything else to update you about. Um, yeah, so I just hope that these two days, um, I'm, I'm doing something different on Friday. I'm doing the way station which I like a bit better because I'm able to walk around and why the other thing I do is normally just stay at a table which I think that's why I feel down a lot because we're in our mind why the other one well, I'm doing Friday you can get to walk around and you don't have to be in your mind too much because you're doing something you're doing this and that and writing down things why the other ones you just same, same, same. Well, it's the same, but you could do a little bit more and you can walk around. Why your normal job, the normal job, you just stand there. So, I'm looking forward to Friday. Um, today, I'm trying to be in a positive attitude, but I don't know if that's going to change as soon as I go to work. And I don't know. I'll try and not get mad at people today. And hopefully, today is a good day at work. So yeah, if I don't see you any time later on today, I'll see you tomorrow.